Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a 40% keyboard from KP Republic. Now this is the CSTC40. It's a 40% ortholinear 43 key keyboard. Um, it is actually quite interesting. It, it actually looks like it has an MCU on the back, but it is just the MCU. <laughs> um, it's hard to read what the controller is in there. Actually, I think it's actually been stickered over or rubbed out so that you can't actually see the controller. Now, this board does have two buttons up here and another button over here. I'm not sure what they're for. Also, when I first received this board, I was like, wait a minute, there's no screws. But KP Republic um, confirmed to me that there's no need for screws in this board actually it's a pretty simple kit so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it together today stock and give it a little sound test and I'm gonna come back to it because I think that this board has a lot of possibilities for modding um, only thing I'm really gonna do is we've got uh, the regular little 2U stabilizer here I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little bit of a uh, lubrication with some super lube just to make sure um, it works nice not going to do any other mod to it because uh, I just want to see what this little kit can sound like um, stock now it is a uh, via and vial compatible firmware so it should be a, a great little kit I've been trying to learn how to use a 40% more efficiently because I do like them. Let's go ahead and put these stabilizers in place. All right, well, let's go ahead and build this. Now, today, I figured we'd go with a switch that everyone should be fairly familiar with. A gator on yellow. So, let's go ahead. And since this doesn't have any screws, we are actually going to be using uh, the plate to, or the um, switches to anchor the plate to the PCB. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, let me see what this, how well this fits in here. Oh, it's actually nice and tight for the most part. I could use a little bit of tightening here, but it's pretty tight there. All right, so we may add a little tape to it when we come back. But for now, let's go ahead and stick to the corners and then we'll move for the rest. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, sometimes with these pressure fit uh, plates, uh, there's different ways to go about it. For this one, what I found uh, that the corners first and then go along the outside perimeters because what happens is you need to ensure that that plate is all the way up to the switch since the switch is basically being the anchor for it. But we've got that taken care of. So uh, besides adding a little bit of lube to the stabilizer, I'm not gonna be doing um, anything else to this keyboard today as I just want to check it out stock and then I'll come back to it and then we'll see what mods we can apply. So I was told this does not require screws so I'm going to try to fish that USB-C through there. Okay it fits in there with pressure. There actually might be a chance of I mean I don't know we might have to make the uh, the hole a little bit bigger but we might be able to do a pressure mount in there. 
um, we'll have to see. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and stick the top back on here. And we have ourselves a 40% kit now. I mean, that's pretty quick from kit to, to keyboard, wouldn't you say? Now let's see, what should we put on there? How about some carbon caps? All right, let's load these up and see what she looks like. All right, so here it is, a nice 40%. Um, actually has a decent amount of weight to it, although I'm sure, because I mean, I know there's space inside that case. Not much, but there's some. Uh, we'll probably put some noise co in there. Uh, but I obviously haven't programmed it yet, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like with the lights on. Got nice. Oh, it's actually <laughs> I actually did get those on the right one, surprisingly enough. Um, I'm still getting used to the 40%, but I've been playing around with another uh, 40%. This is the BM40. Now this is a 3D printed case that I made, and I'm using um, the uh, Drop OL Keep KB, I believe this keycap set. Um, so I'm still getting used to it. That's why I kind of laid this one out in a similar fashion. But um, I, I, I got to say, I mean, I only got the PCB. I got this one on sale. Uh, although this one was, uh, I can't remember how much the cost. But I want to say that this with the case was uh, under 50. Everything shut. But um, I mean, for a 40%, it's solid. It's got nicer RGB than this one does. It's a little bit brighter, although this one does have underglow, and that's why I printed it in the uh, 3D print case. But this uh, new 40% is very interesting. Uh, I like it. I am going to further mod so Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this 40% uh, keyboard. Let's see what you guys think of it. Until next time, keep calm, keyboard on.